You are a hateful, homophobic, racist, bigot ass piece of trash. Let me be very clear when I say this. You will never, ever, ever get a fucking glimpse of my life. <gasps> it's so it's... cute. It's even got new 70 calories. What? Okay. No, 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 no. We don't turn it in vertical. We're inside, please. No. <laughs> you have to tell her about <laughs> the <laughs> Tell her about the <laughs> Bleep it. <laughs> I gotta bleep it. I called him a for months and she didn't listen to me. Can you imagine that man with her? He does look like it. He's a <laughs> He's a She gets it. She gets it. He's a He's a I hate We're back and better than ever. We're back, bitches. We're here to get Taco Bell's limited edition gelato. Ooh. Bitches are shook. Bitches are clenching their fucking pearls do right they now. Have, ah, do they have several flavors or what's the flavor? It's Baja Blast only. Ooh. Mm. Wait, can I be really good or really bad? I know, I know, I know. Stop. I like their Everybody's faces. been saying it's good. Okay, period. Hi, welcome to Taco Bell. Are you checking in with your app to date or in points? Uh, no, I just had an order for Anthony. I order it. Mm. Right. For VIP. Yes. Right. Yes. Thank you. We're VIP, bitch. We don't have to wait in We got that VIP shit, well, huh? So Look at what me and Brayden got. Duncan cups, they're silicone. They they're look so like cute. cartoon fucking cups. That's so adorable. I like how Bitches are it is. fucking shook. Bitches are clenching their fucking pearls I right now. I did not now. think it was going to be that squishy. I know, it's so cute. When we picked it up, I was like, Brayden, buy it now. How much was it? 12 bucks. Are you oh, fucking okay, me in the period. ass? So cute. Is it, uh, can you put it in the dishwasher? Yep. <gasps> Top shelf. Oh, wow. We made sure to check. That's some good shit right there. Mm -hmm. Um, should I tell I'm them breaking now? out, as oh. you can see. Why? Because I've been not eating great i've been eating a lot of dairy no Ugh. no it fucks my skin see i can't eat dairy at all because it just makes me shit yeah yep yeah al capone is a little stuck in his ways back here there you go buddy al capone um my mom got al capone a baby she got a baby skeleton and it's so ah. cute it's in the house oh my gosh so al capone has a child but he's staying at home. Can't come with the adults. The adults are on some adult shit. Anthony? Yes. Thank you so much. Nice. You too. Why'd she you say your name like that? Anthony. 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 Take your fucking gelato. All right, let's get set up in the beautiful sun. Attractive. All right, Taco Bell gelato. Baja Blast gelato, bitches. Bitches are shook. I'm confused. I know. <gasps> Wait, it's so it's... cute. It's even got new 70 calories? Period. Fuck my time for the pussy. I'm going to get these every day. They gave us no spoon. Oh, period. Okay. Well. Okay. You're supposed to have a spoon with it. The packaging is cute. That's all right. I wonder if they're going to. Oh, my God. It's in the cap. Oh. Mountain Dew Baja Blast. So fucking cute. It smells like a Baja Blast. Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay. This will be interesting. Wow. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? Oh, it's kind of hard. Gotta dig in. Oh. Hmm. 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 Um. I don't know about that. Let me. It doesn't have much. That is very strange. <laughs> kind of tastes strange. like like a if you licked the top of like a freezer burnt carton. Mm, right. Are you getting that vibe? Yes. <laughs> it's fucking adorable. I do like the color. Mm -hmm. It goes well with my eyes. And it's my very shirt. eye. It's all natural, folks. We picked this right from the garden. You know, I still really don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. 
It's cute. It's pretty. I think it's. I like the texture. I'm starting to vibe a little oh, bit. Okay. Bitch, I think you're. Is mine just like? I mean. No, I'm out. I'm out. I tried. I tried to fake it. <laughs> I'm a real ass bitch. I don't fake shit, ho. It tastes like a crayon. It does taste like a crayon a little bit. You're right. Like I said, mm. all natural. I'm going to give it a... I'm going to get... You don't close it, you fucking cunt. I thought I... Um, I'm going to give it a... 4.7. Talk about that's you suck my pretty, fucking giant dick. I was gonna say that's a pretty good rating. Four point seven, bitch. <laughs> <sighs> I was gonna give it a two point six. Oh, okay. I do like the texture and the color. Talk about flop, flop Tina, flop Tina. Oh my Whoever. god, Ray, your skin—it's like vibing. Uh, it's glowing. God damn it, Ray. I'm going through a post breakup. Glow! I'm glowing! And we'll get into it, folks. Best believe. I'm we glowing are going, and I'm... I think it's all the tears. We're going to pick up Pickle Pizza <laughs> to take to Grandma Carol's, and we're doing a Grandma Carol review on Pickle Pizza. It's going to be... Gonna be hopefully not bad. I think it'll be good. I'm a neutral. That's my bad. Also, wait. Let's share the fit. Um, we've got me, like... Kardashian, like post workout kind of vibe. I don't know, all workout fit, five inch shorts. See the thighs, bitch. See the dick. Oh. Um, this is Ray. She's got her beautiful fucking cargo jeans on. The boobs. This, this top. The shoulder. The fucking jeans. curled hair. Yes. <laughs> giving cunt. Serving. Which is serving the most cunt. Serving absolute fucking dining cunt. She is to that. Serving fucking cunt. All right, we're gonna go pick up the pickle pizza and take it to grandma's. Ooh, I'm so excited. Jolly Rancher sour gummies, woo! Period. Saw these and I knew Reagan would like them because we like sour. Red? That is my type though. Is this pink or red? Mm, mm-hmm. Is this red? Mm-hmm. Ooh, I like the sour. I don't like them. The Jolly Rancher ones are period. Mm. The Warhead sours we have, we're not red. No. Yellow? Ray. Mm. The yellow is fucking period. Blue? Wow. That's a blue. Blue's pretty good. Mm. Green? Mm. <laughs> Green. Mm. These are mm. really good. What the fuck? Ooh. The green's very appley. Definitely a least favorite, but not bad. My favorite's the pink and the blue. It goes Ooh, pink, pink, blue. Mm. Wait, oh, is there another one? Okay, you I think, yeah. Pink. Oh, I didn't I have think, a red. Oh. Well, I didn't have the cherry. Yep, try that. It's not, it's, it's all right. Mmm, <laughs> very cherry. What do you think? Pink, blue, yellow, red, green. I give it overall a five point, or what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> I give it a. I was gonna say, point, bitch, you were eight, munching. 8.9 overall. Oh, wow. I give it a 9.3. That was pretty Jesus. scrum diddly umptious. Okay. All right. Where we going? I'm just. We're in the grass. Post in here so we have better lighting. Sorry. So I want to make a general statement, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna preface this by saying I want to eat this to Reagan so because bad. Reagan hasn't been told about what happened. So about oh gosh, no, I haven't about. So it was Sunday last week, mm -hmm. not this Sunday that just passed because I was up north. Okay. Sunday before that, yeah. So I've been holding on to this for a while. I had some time to think. I received a notification from my other account. So you know, I made that new. Instagram account. Mm -hmm. The only thing that on it that's on it is that picture of me and Brayden. Yeah. Okay. I get a notification after my story has been viewed as we know. Like that's just <laughs> a, that's normal at this point. I don't give a fuck. You can watch what I do. The stalkers. But embarrassing. It's so embarrassing, bro. 
she went out of her way to like that picture, find that new account, like that picture. And let me tell you why that sent me into a rage. <laughs> Anthony. Let me tell you why I actually like completely, I, all, I wish I could go back into the fucking reviews and take the bleeps off of your fucking name. You stupid fucking bitch. I hope to God you better start praying that I can't because the shit I have fucking said and the shit that you've that you have rightfully fucking said that has been bleeped in these fucking reviews because About I'm where? the fucking nice guy. All right. So here I'm usually very joking and funny and sarcastic in these fucking reviews. I hope I'm making myself very fucking clear in this fucking review. I swear to God. Ten toes in and we're standing on business. I'm a big step up. Autumn Griffin. <gasps> You are a hateful, homophobic, racist, bigot ass piece of trash. You have no fucking purpose on this planet besides being a hateful piece of shit. Okay, let's start there. I've done everything in my power to keep your name out of my mouth. I bleep the fucking name. You send threatening messages to not say your name in videos, all that shit, I respect it. I don't fucking wanna be associated with you, whatever. So, here we are. I'm literally done protecting the fucking boundaries that you have just set for no fucking reason when you don't deserve any of that shit. If you want to be a piece of shit, then stand behind what you say. Because if I recall during the relationship of four fucking years that I had to suffer and be miserable, I legitimately fucking hated myself and my sexuality and thought that it was wrong or that I was being unfaithful for literally just confessing the very simple truth you made me feel like a fucking piece of shit you have absolutely zero fucking right to now like a photo of me and my boyfriend do you understand me like i hope it's fucking very clear give context what she do so she went found another profile no that was homophobic in your past oh so i being in a four-year relationship i thought i could trust my partner i thought i could tell my partner things that I could be open and honest about her. I had been struggling with my sexuality. I loved her, but I had been struggling and questioning myself and opened up to her. And she told me that that's not possible. It's not true, that it's just a phase. I, there's no way that I can like boys and girls at the same time. You fucking dug a hole into this shit so fucking deep that even to this fucking day, I still have internalized homophobia surrounding myself and my sexuality you are such a piece of shit like well in that playlist she made yeah so i have screenshots of that and i'll put them up on the screen you make fucking homophobic ass playlist geared towards me trying to fucking get under my skin i hope you understand this fucking relationship that i'm in and I, like let me just say i will not comment on this fucking guy that you're with i don't i the only fucking feelings I have for him is pity and fucking sadness for the fact that he actually fucking thinks you give a damn. Like, you are actively still looking at all of my shit, yeah. waiting, waiting for a fucking text. Let me be very clear when I say this. You will never, ever, ever get a fucking glimpse of my life ever again. And I hope it's fucking clear. I hope this ends any fucking imaginary fictional fairy tale you have in your head of anything ever happening again you are a piece of shit i have done a lot of things in my past i've said a lot of very offensive and whatever all of that stuff i have grown i've changed i've spoken to people listened to minorities and all, all right. of that stuff to understand why that language is inappropriate you still continue on the same you have not changed you are still a racist, homophobic, piece of shit, bitter ass bitch. And to Paige as well, fuck you. I You're a piece of fucking her. shit. Yeah, well, I, okay. I did too. And I, I hope to God, like, Jesus fucking Christ. There's so many things, but I'll end it with this. With this relationship with Brayden, I hope you understand, because this is going to hit you the most and I know it will. You are slowly, every single thing that you have left me with, all of this fucking trauma, all of this stuff that I carry on to these fucking relationships that I try so hard not to, the anxiety of being cheated on, the anxiety of fucking having to check somebody's phone every five seconds to make sure that they're not doing something to destroy our relationship, that is gone. 
the memory of you is fading one day and it's going to be soon the fucking name autumn will mean nothing to me it will be a fucking season again and thank god the day that i have that will be pure fucking peace and i look forward to it you will not have any control over anything going on in the future of my life you dumb fucking bitch i hope that i hope it's so fucking clear autumn you are a piece of fucking shit from now on there are no fucking bleeps bitch no fucking bleeps there goes all my bleeps because that was the only thing i'd ever fucking bleep out oh god i got i got some go ahead <laughs> I got, well i have stuff i need to bleep though because oh, i already know we know that <laughs> But what were you going to say? Do you have any comments? Well, it'd be one thing if you were just angry with her because she's your ex, but it's the fact that she's actively been cyberbullying, stalking. Um, My problem is, is stand like behind what stuff. you fucking believe, bitch. You're a homophobic piece of shit. Yeah. You fucking hate me. You hate the fact that I am a fucking relationship with a guy. Stand behind it, you fucking bitch. Don't stand there and like my shit. You have absolutely no fucking right well, in the nerve. it's creepy that she's reaching out like that anyway. Right. Like when she's in a relationship, I feel like that's just disrespectful to her current partner. The fucking nerve to like that shit after what you've done. You stupid fucking bitch. Stupid fucking bitch. I hope I made myself clear. Is that all you have to say, Ray? Well, I... I think what you said, I think you stood on your business. Thank you. I think you had shit you had to say and you said it because this has been an ongoing issue for quite literally like several years with her. Several fucking years. It has been seven years, bitch. Move the fuck on. Has it really been seven? Seven years. Stop. It oh. has been three years since we fucking broke up. You it are in a whole nother fucking relationship for what? Holy shit. Yikes. Well, didn't she cheat on that one guy? She cheated on the guy she was with when we first started talking. Yeah. She cheated on him with me. She's yeah. such a fucking stupid bitch. Like, you do not change. It's so funny. It's so iconic. I, I, I really got to give it up to her. I think her... Uh, just Does she believe in therapy? Because I feel like No, it would she be went to therapy. No, she believes in God. Which, God isn't getting you anywhere, bitch. Oh, well, she's, she's going to hell. I hope she knows <laughs> stupid fucking bitch that's all i have yeah. to say really i i just want to make it clear the fucking protecting the making sure that you aren't fucking exposed well, and everything just fuck you leave you alone and let fuck you live you. your life and be happy because it's not fair that she's doing that and she needs to just stop being like a stalker because that's not uh it's not a cute look. It's not like... It's it's disgusting. Yeah. It's quite literally fucking vile. Vile human being. Burn in hell. Oh. That's all I gotta say. But they put this, this sauce on it and that might make it not... I don't want to budge. I haven't been drinking lately. I've been cutting this back. It's very strong. Oh boy. It's good Ray's stuff. gonna get a little tipsy on the review. No! Do a pan of the recoil. The music. You're 21 now, you can drink on camera. I know. <laughs> I still don't believe it. Woo! I used to drink Pete Whitney right out the bottle. That's what it tastes like to me, Pink Whitney. I don't even need to hit it multiple times. You see that? I You're doing a great echo. job. I know. It does. It echoes all over the neighborhood. I'm turning it this way. Cause... What? Okay. No, 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 no. We don't turn it vertical. Turn it sideways. It's always sideways. The, you never turn you it vertical. You keep coming closer to me and then I can't get you hammering. There's a bunch right there. While I'm doing it. No. Watch out. I'll do this. Can you see my butt good? Of course, yeah. That's a good angle. Woo! Get those two right there. What kind of bird is that? On the on the cup? It's a quail. Ooh. <laughs> have marinara on it. Usually. Gotcha. The white pieces are a lot of places. 
they don't put any sauce <laughs> on them anymore. They just put like oils, flavored oils, like garlic and stuff. No. <laughs> yes, it's the grandma review. I <laughs> never looked that. like that. <laughs> well, I'm insulted. <laughs> All right. Where's your drink? Oh, damn it. Rewind. Okay. Folks, very special review. We've got Grandma. 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 <laughs> he couldn't find a grandma, so he got a, made himself a grandma. I am not the grandma. <laughs> Some of my curls were falling out, but that's all right. <laughs> We've got pickle pizza today, folks. This is so exciting. Pickle pizza, grandma's favorite. I've never had it. Ray's never had it. It is beautiful, It folks. does look quite good. Beautiful. We're gonna dish it out here. Um, grandma was courteous enough to give us beautiful plates. Oh, wow. As you can see. Where are those from? Call them out. Southern Living, which is no more, so they're very ah. rare. You cannot buy them. Vintage, anymore. some Ooh. might say. They're my favorite place. All right. So everybody get a slice here. Let's... So what is the, I, I know there's pickles on it, but what is, what is it? Yeah, describe <laughs> it, grandmother. It's pickles and mozzarella, and okay. the crust has like a garlic, um, olive oil yep. ooh, um, okay. on it and the pickles of course and then there's some kind of a sauce but I can't remember what's in the sauce like maybe some pesto that I looks yeah I could see that barely any flop there folks <laughs> very thin oh. crispy crust you got a flop alright yep thin and crispy here we go Oh, so by good. golly gee. Mm-hmm. Jump wow. on that train. What is that sweet note? Why is there a little sweetness yeah. in there? I think it might be the sauce. Mm. That's so good. It Phenomenal. feels very, like, clean and light mm -hmm. for a pizza. Mm -hmm. You know? Wow, well, Pop, you guys got me hooked. Seriously, I'm very upset that I haven't been able to try the... It's a boy. It's a boy. I am upset. I haven't been able to find or try the Italia. Because you rave it up so much that it's better than this. It is. It's. Wow. It's the best. This is really good too, though. She's saying it here, folks. Really, really good too. The other side. Okay. What about it makes it better? Next time you come, we'll do Italia and other side and compare, compare. them. That's a good idea. A double review. Yeah. A double review, folks. So, if we remember, you rated Jets a 10. Who now, did? do we... You! <laughs> do you remember this? Roll the clip. Rookie. Rookie. I give it a 10. Oh, oh okay. Well, here's the deal. What? <laughs> we don't give 10. I regretted that decision. We do not give 10s on the reviews. Go ahead. Ten. Okay. All right. <laughs> Roll the clip. You rated Jets a ten, and I warned you in that moment. We do not give tens because you have not had every single food in the world. You hadn't had pickle pizza yet. And now, what do you do? Do you understand the dilemma that we play but two when you different pizzas? Jets is thick and <laughs> traditional pizza, and it's so good because it's got that crunchy bottom to it. No. Yeah, but it's not, it doesn't compare to pickle pizza. Oh, no. well, what are you going to do then? You rated just a 10. This is what I'm saying. You can't do that because well, now you've I already rated something the absolute we highest. We were just doing Jets as a, like. I warned you in the moment. Delivery. Roll the clip. Because a 10 is there is seriously nothing in the world that will match it. And you have not had every single food in the world. So. You, I warned you. What do you give it? What? If you say 10, this pickle pizza. Um, 
Oh God, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's no. That's that's illegal. Okay, you have to make a, two different categories for pizza. No. Because otherwise, I'm going to have food to knock jets down. What do you put jets at? See, folks, this is why I run the reviews. Seven. This is why I told her Just no. Is a seven. Oh wow! Wow! Shocking, folks. Compared to pickle pizza. What's pickle pizza? Um, the, I would give this a eight, and Italia she is modest. A 10. <laughs> Here it is. She still gives a ten. That's because I've had several pickle pizzas, and that is the best. We don't even have Italian in front gold, of us, and you're reading it. It's the gold, gold <laughs> standard of pickle pizza. What the hell? Well, here we are. I guess you have to explain to me. What do you mean? She rates it a, an eight, and she's going in for seconds. An eight is not seconds. You would give that a nine. Okay, I'll give it a nine. And Italia is a 9.3. No. Italia is a 10. No, you. I cannot wait for six months from now when you find some new phenomenal food <laughs> and you start giving that a 10 and you say that Italia is not a 10 anymore. You wait. can't change the review. Wait. Are we talking about pizza? No, we are talking about food <laughs> at a whole. Every single food in the world, that's why well, I'm why saying. Can't no, you have to have categories. No, of food. there are no. She's trying to. He has to have categories of food. Who runs the right? reviews? Who? Because there's like lobster. Where am I going to put lobster? I give Compared it an 8.7. This? No, lobster. You don't like lobster? I love She's lobster. Rated, she rated the Jolly Rancher gummies we had in the car today a 9. So she rates those better over lobster. Do you understand how no. fun it is when you compare every single type of food you to can't. other foods? It is Not so much more enjoyable. unless you're doing them all at the same time. That is why we don't give a 10 and I, God, I, uh, I turn my soul, I turn my soul to Call the food the gods. Clip. I give it a 10. No, I turn my soul to the food gods and I apologize and I sacrifice myself <laughs> for giving a 10 that ungrateful night that I had. That was a good time. I take it back, you I'm gave, a sinner. You gave it a 10? Gave I a gave 10. popcorn a 10. Can you believe that? I was not in my right mind and to the pizza gods and the food gods, I apologize. I was a sinner that night. We're gonna go steal a skeleton from somebody's yard now. <laughs> We're so bad, but it's Halloween, bitch! We don't give a fuck! It wasn't even... Yeah, like... where is that leaf steak? Ooh. <laughs> Breaking bought Pringles that were meat yeah. flavored, and I spit it out and had roll a whole... Roll the clip. Roll the clip. Yeah. I'll put on that lesbian shit. And then the... Also, you're shaking the table <laughs> with your leg. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Grandma gives it what? What is your final review? Okay. Tell me the rules and then I'll give you It is review. every food in the world. Think about the food you had in Italy, Germany, Whoa. all of the... Rome. You you can rate multiple things as like a 9.2. Yeah, it doesn't, once you oh. rate something, it doesn't mean well, that that right. rating is reviewed so, okay. and you can't do it again. I've rated multiple things a nine or, you know, a 7.5. Okay. So it doesn't matter, but you are thinking about all foods in conjunction, everything you've ever had. What does this score in likability, favorite food? 8.2. 8.2, that's a solid review. That's a solid review, but. <laughs> That? This review, every time, every time I have a review with you, it's like out of control chaos. Why do they make that sound? Don't turn it off. I don't know how to turn. I don't care. What is your review? I give the give it quick pizza before it goes. At, I give it an eight point one. Oh, lower than oh, she doesn't like it as much as you. Well, she's also a pickle explain pizza yourself. Fanatic. Well, I like the taste. I like the the nodes of like flavor I gave you. There was sweet. There was like savory. The the dill. It was very yummy. 
Um, I only dock it just because of the dairy. I'm lactose mm. intolerant. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That's a fair dock right there. But you still eat it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't care. Yeah. I would still eat it. She's going to be pooping all night. I will be on the toilet. <laughs> Later, later. <laughs> I'll leave. Um, I give it an 8.9. I really enjoyed That's that pizza. Than your grandma. I really enjoy that pizza. Now imagine what Italia will be if it lives up to what she's been saying. What do we review our cocktails? I'm excited too. I get the to cocktail? eat pickle pizza I'm pretty twice. tipsy. Oh, you're pretty tipsy, ready? Well, I just feel it in my head. I feel um, fine. I give it a... I give it a 7.2. Mm. Are cocktails on a different rating no, scale? No, 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 no. <laughs> nope. We rate drinks the same. So they're on the same scale as food? Oh, yeah. You can't do that. Don't. Drinks should be their own category. Right, Ray? Right? Do not uh, agree with her. I can't. You know we've been on these reviews for years. <laughs> These have been a years in on. progress. It's right. You have to understand the process, and you're not there yet, and that's okay. But well, don't try to bash like it. One through ten, what would you get it? Yeah, it's not about categorizing things. It's just one through ten. What My do you give it? My brain does not work like that. <laughs> what do you give your cocktail? Well, cocktails aren't as great as food, so I would have to give it a five. But beer would be a zero. Okay. Oh, all right. There. I don't like beer. Well, either. okay. This is a, cosmeto a cosmopolitan, if we didn't say that already. Now, I it's, showed this to what, Brayden the other what night. Brand? Brayden? What brand? On the Rocks. On the Rocks. On the Rocks. On the Rocks. Hits, folks. Let me tell you a little story. I bought two Blue Hawaiian On the Rocks. I texted her a picture of it, and I said, I got these. I'm so excited to try them. Have you tried them? She said, no. Be careful, Anthony. Do not drink more than half of the bottle because you will have terrible spins and be sick the entire night. I said, I literally texted back, I will take a screenshot of it. We shall see. I proceeded to drink two full bottles of On the Rocks and I was up for four hours puking and the room would not stop spinning and I had the most miserable time and was hungover for two days straight. Here we are again. Grandma's always right. You Alcohols. have to understand that Anthony does not like most foods, so. Yes. You have he to understand that Anthony is a- higher than most people would rate it if it was being compared to food. I rated a 7.6. <laughs> oh, period. Highest it's point. amazing. Why did you laugh at that? Don't laugh. 7.6. It's not as good as my Kentucky Mules with 100 proof bourbon. That, did you make me that, one? No. I know, I'll get there eventually. We should do a review of the next time. 100 proof bourbon, lime juice, and ginger beer. That thing will have you on your back. 7.2. Yeah. I Maybe literally. Have to spend the night. I literally. You don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand. You can't drive. You don't drunk. understand my levels. No, I'm nowhere near drunk. I'm not even this close is true. to being drunk. Him pretty this is how I am during the reviews. My energy is high. Well, I don't a clip of him drunk. 21, and I'm glad she made it. I'm glad to be her friend. I yeah. love her so much. Make sure you're safe on the right? Yeah. That's what they should do. Have a little Yes. Real Shit. Get by the dick! Get by the dick! Stop resisting! Stop. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, yo! Oh, oh, yeah. Bro, what the fuck? No, no! <laughs> no, not those again. Oh, no. I don't think I've seen any of those. Oh, god. You'll have to tune in. Oh, no. Those are really bad. Um, anyway, listen to me when I say this. Pickle pizza, double review, coming soon. I gave Italia a 15, and you wouldn't let me. Oh, yeah. was that what Or it was? was it no, lobster? You gave... No, you oh. didn't give lobster. Reagan brought up lobster. <laughs> no, she brought up lobster. You guys are drunk. <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not drunk, and they are just blabbering on about lobster. Good. Oh, wait, you have to tell her about <laughs> the <laughs> Tell her about the <laughs> Bleep it. <laughs> I gotta bleep it. Tell her about the so you know the rollers. Recently I am now single. Yep. Uh he divorced from a We were never married. We just talked about it. But anyway.
Okay, are you bleeping this? <laughs> Is he the one I keep reading about in Medlin on Facebook? <laughs> Multiple times and jerking off to their pictures and also to... <laughs> but we're bleeping everything yeah. because it's going to be an investigation. It's wild. And I don't want him to know I reported I called him a for months and she didn't listen to me. Oh my god. All of so, this is bleeped, but now this is what I'm talking about. When it, let's hear her two reviews thoughts. ago, Wait, I sure called him and she goes, No one supports me in my <laughs> relationship. Nobody roll supports the clip. roll the clip. To a bleep that. Oh, I'm sorry. I have, I'm I have sorry. No support. Nobody supports me. I don't have any support. <laughs> this is why I have a gut feeling and she never listens to me. I you never it. do. I always, I told you from the start, I did not want to meet him. I did not want to even be near him because I had you this think that's feeling. A fine one? That's what, show her that picture immediately. <laughs> Can you imagine that man with her? He does look like him. He's a. <laughs> he's a. <laughs> she I mean, gets it. She gets it. Oh he's a. <laughs> he's a. <laughs> okay, so I hate. Little side that's just wrong. Isn't that gross? Yes. God, he's so nasty. Yes. Show her that picture right now. Oh, oh my, one. show her that. <laughs> the don't beauty scroll. and the beauty. Yeah, do not scroll. <laughs> oh no, there's something wrong with him. Yeah. Oh, anyway. we're gonna bleep this. <laughs> this is the... No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> she's shook. She doesn't even know what she's speechless, folks. Oh my god. She picks great ones, doesn't she, okay. Grandma? I need to screen your boyfriends from now That's on. what I'm saying! <laughs> Run them through her! Run them through right, her! Bring them over here. I um, never <laughs> downloaded Bumble again. Mm -hmm. No dating apps. Grandma doesn't believe me. in dating apps. Yeah, no. She thinks they're for hookups and sexual activity. This is true. Which they are. And yes. everybody's, <laughs> everybody's party to their own fun. But Grandma does not approve. You should be married before you have sexual intercourse. Oh, is that what you believe? Is that what I believe? Yeah. <laughs> not necessarily. <laughs> okay, all right. This is what I feel like I'm not going to end up married at all just because of like my generation. Well, you will because we have a pact. Uh, if I'm not do, married by, by 30, 30, me and Ray are getting married. And I'm not. Oh, yay. <laughs> <laughs> yay. <laughs> But we made a pact years ago that if we did not find somebody by the age of 30, we were getting married. Yeah, and it's It's, it's dead up. serious. It's dead serious, and it's coming up. So oh, my there's... God. Fast forward, fast forward. <laughs> She's pondering. <laughs> you're, you're pondering. She's still thinking about us getting married. I'm so happy. <laughs> Grandma is going to be front row and center. I look gray wedding. every night. Please let them not find somebody. <laughs> She's going <laughs> to... You're gonna pray every night that we don't find love. Oh my god. No. That is wild. Yeah. That is wild to state. <laughs> Me and Rick said we were gonna have a food review at our wedding. Some Can people you believe don't that? Know, yeah. know the right person when they are standing right next to them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is exciting, folks. I'm gonna get me some Pepto Bismol, some Tums. Yep, she's gonna need I'm it. I'm gonna be ready. She's gonna need it. She's dairy free. This is gonna be her on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Please roll the clip. <laughs> roll the clip to two hours from now. Megan's sending me a video of her on the toilet. <laughs> I'm so excited for this oh. next review. I'm pumped. We're excited. So I, I'm telling you right now, he's a He's always been a Folks, he's always been a but Maybe one of the I, biggest I, I've been doing whoopsies <laughs> since all Reagan's that. been texting her abusive ex-boyfriend. No, he was. David asking was, for David, hog. David was. <laughs> okay, where are you said. getting these men from? <laughs> Dating apps. No. Okay, right. You're yeah. not allowed to date anymore. Take my whole no. fucking phone. Anybody you want to go with it has to come here and get approved. That's fine first. with me. That works. I just, I don't even recognize him anymore, so I don't even feel sad about the breakup. Oh God, there's a bee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't like bees. Bitch. <laughs> He's
coming near me, Ray. Let it go. I don't like it, him. He's gone. It's a wood boring bee. <laughs> Do you remember it? it? It's a wood boring bee. It Do you remember that? Oh, there he is. Woo! He's mm. not gonna bother you. He is. No, he's, he's not. He's right there. All right, folks, that's the review I've this done. This is a grown-ass man. He did not just run from a bee. <gasps> He's after the food, so eat it and yeah. be done. Three months into the relationship, from the very beginning. We'll explain what the tea is about. <clears throat> so, yeah, she um, ended up... So she still, to this day, she has a whole boyfriend. She's had a boyfriend for a year and a half, maybe. I don't know. I don't keep very good tabs on her because I don't really care. Um... <laughs> And I'm not desperate. Period. So I think she's been dating this guy for like a year and a half. And it's still every, like, I kid you not, when I post something on Instagram, when I post anything, she is the first one. Literally 10 seconds after it uploads to the channel, clicks, views instantly. So she's got notifications on it. I know she does. In a relationship, viewing my stuff, liking my stuff messaging me in the past when I made that vlog about going to Texas and all this stuff and made that whole vlog with Kelly and the business at the very end this vlog was an hour long so she had to sit through an hour long video and at the very end we were in the hot tub and I mentioned one thing about last time I came down to Texas I was literally engaged to Autumn and was going to get married and that was my whole life plan I had it all planned out for me and now all of that's changed that's all I said and she reached out to me and was threatening me don't say my name in videos don't say my name anywhere and all that stuff going on and on and on so out of respect for her every single time that we've said anything about her I've bleeped it I've done my fair share and she can't leave me alone or keep my name out of her mouth or do anything out of the sort or pay attention to the full-on relationship that she has so here we are unbelieved you are a piece of shit and a cheater and I had to sit through therapy for two years literally going through each situation and doing full-on EDMR vibration like recalling the moments and having to go back in the moment so I can deconstruct the trauma and the absolute horror that I experienced every single day when I'd wake up and the first thought was I need to check her phone I need to make sure she's not cheating on me every single day every waking second why I went into ketamine therapy why I broke up with her in ketamine after ketamine after I started that ketamine therapy because I realized like what am I doing like how pathetic am I to stay with such an idiot somebody who does not respect me does not respect a relationship can't respect herself like that's the biggest thing respect yourself that's pathetic literally pathetic so is she watching your stuff because she's trying to figure out if you're talking about her or? no she's watching it because literally i and first time i'll say this i don't think i've ever spoken on this before literally when she was walking up the door you were at the house actually when she left the house do you remember when she moved out yeah and i literally grabbed you and was bawling my eyes out in your arms as she was walking out the door and I was like, this is for the best. And I forget where we were on. What did you ask? Is she watching your Oh, so yes. But right before that, we were having a chat in her room before she walked out. And she was like, Anthony, seriously, like, it doesn't matter who I'm with. It doesn't matter how long it is. It can be 20 years from now and everything. I'm like dating somebody, married, whatever. If you reach back out, and you want this again, I will drop everything I have and start this again with you. So she's waiting for that. And I hope it's made very clear you will never, ever, 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 ever get that again. Ever. We don't like toxic, manipulative people. So she's waiting. And I hope you've waited long enough. And I, honestly, I feel very sorry for that guy. Oh, there's Charlie. There's the rat. Bleep. We've got rats surrounding our space right now. There's we need too to many rats. Too many rats. No. Oh, I hate them. Get I the hate raids. Rats. Everybody get them. I hate them. <laughs>
we need to go to our happy place. Yes. Yes. I agree. But that's that, that's no basically the gist allowed. of the team. Yeah, no rats. Why? I don't understand why she do that. I. If she wanted to be with you, then she should have. Not that's what I'm saying. Hello. That's what I'm saying. Some people lack common sense. Like they genuinely she just lacks can't do it. Sense. Well, why should you ever trust that person? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. How could you ever trust that? And you know, I I tried because that it happened for the first time three months into the relationship. So three months Smells into the good. four years that we were together. Three months into the four years we were together. I deserve to that feel happened. safe. That's my yes. affirmation. I deserve to feel safe. Yep. We love an affirmation. I downloaded right here. an aff affirmation app this morning. <laughs> yep. But three months into it, I it was happening. So yep. it should have been. And she cheated on her boyfriend that she was with to be with me. Did you know that? People like that have no self. And I didn't. And you know, I blame myself partly for that because it should have been a red flag right from the start. Hey, you just started talking to this girl, and she says, "I have to break up with my boyfriend before we keep talking more, or before I can do anything serious." Because I'm in a full relationship with somebody talking to another person. She's probably still doing that. So. Yeah, I, well, she is doing that still, 100%. She's doing it, literally right now as we speak, on my story. People like that don't stop. No. <clears throat> Everybody needs to be in therapy. <laughs> I fully believe that. Literally. There's like, oh well, yeah, because he started therapy in July or like late June. And it's like there are then, no downsides to therapy. There are literally, literally no downsides. No. You are working on. It doesn't have to be relationship wise or working on yourself. You can just having somebody to talk to outside of a sphere of people that yeah. may have, you know, biases towards you or how you should be thinking about things or whatever. Like sometimes talking to family or your friends or anything like that. It's just like. You need an outside person sometimes. Right, somebody totally non-connected with any of yes. it, and they can be objective and right. say, either you're if wrong, I came to Ray, or you know, this isn't. This is a sign that this isn't what you want to do, or she's wrong. And I don't think I'm gonna date again, or like no, I don't want to. I don't goes. see she myself says this every time. Well, I don't Stop. see myself getting Wait married. Till you're 30. <laughs> 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 Here we go. Here we go. Don't date anybody till you're 30. She's years my old. wingman, Ray. You know, my dad always said I couldn't have sex or date till I was married. There it is. How do you get married if you're not going to date anybody? That's true. Well, you want us to wait till we were, we 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 wait till we were 35. Breaking that trust, you know? Yeah. So. It's not going to change. That's a major problem. Yeah. That's not what about autumn what do you have to say about autumn that's a major problem well yes she ain't gonna change i don't think so yeah you broke her heart look at what you've done just kidding that's not your fault grandma could care less she really doesn't care about you but none of us do <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> should we uh, go inside? <laughs> it's getting dark. What about you? Are you in the dating scene? Oh, no. yeah. Grandma had a boyfriend, but she broke up with them. <laughs> Was no. he the one in the hospital? Yes. Yes. He had heart, he had heart surgery. <laughs> yeah. He was annoying was and very needy. Oh. And Grandma doesn't do needy. Grammy don't do so no needy boys. Out there. She don't need none of them needy boys. Was he your first boyfriend that you had? Yeah. Okay, that's a big deal. Yeah. And I think you're probably used to how you had your Well, system. when you yeah. are married to somebody for 40 years, you know, it's like you grow up together. Mm -hmm. And so you, uh, and you're a lot younger then, so you can adapt to all the True. little bumps in the road. Yeah. And, you when know. you're when you are older you're not wanting to help somebody like teach them through things like right. hey it's actually like this you know like this is morally correct because because yeah yes like my boss always she keeps telling me she's like because she's dating in her like mid-30s now like almost 40s and she was like by this age if 
the person that you meet is the person they are. They aren't changing. You can't right. change a person right. at that age no. anymore. They are not willing to adapt. That person is their own person at that point. Then their brain is not, completely it's not developed. Work. Yeah. You know, I mean, you can go out together and have a good time, but as far as anything more than that, you're yeah. just not going to They are on developed. The same page. They are on their yeah. own path. That's who they are. I <laughs> hate I hate porn. I just I'm I gonna, fucking hate porn so uh, much. You can Okay, you can not believe any of this shit. I hate porn because <laughs> the family watching us and hearing us. I hate porn. <laughs> they're probably like, who is this woman? I don't think their windows are. I'm new to tell. <laughs> Continue, God. The oh, girl sorry. next door. I shouldn't have. Um, no, I hate porn. It's so gross. It's and it, it literally wires your brain differently to create these, like, sexual <laughs> fantasies. Why are we all what looking that? up? There was, there was a bat. <laughs> thing flew over but yes it wires your yes it wires your brain differently to where and you're you, looking for something outside you're always of what looking you have for right something here. new yes yeah. right. instead of appreciating the literal human body that you have in front of you like that's it cheapens the relationship like yeah what you when you love somebody you know that's part of it and right. to have to or want to even Take it to that point is kind of like the fact that's that why I, had I like to... those um, things that they do like at weddings and everything where the bride takes like boudoir photos and gives them to the yes. groom and everything like that is like you know purposely what's... giving like a like this is what you can you know like look at these like because it's more of like a yeah that person's not going to be around all the time to be able to completely satisfy your every need and want you know what I mean sexually so having those moments like that where it's like here's options for you that still involve us in a relationship and keep us close. Like you're looking at me, you want me, you know what I mean? Like if I do I get cute. married, I do want it to do that. But it's like, I've told him, you know, you know, reach out if you're in the mood, like, let me know because we can use this as a bonding experience instead right. of you having to resort to porn. And it, it, for a while, as far as I know, it gotten better. But then I just found out about that stuff that happened in May. So it's like, uh, no. I really don't trust that he wasn't watching it because obviously that was a big, huge, like damaging moment of trust. Um, yeah, but he, he didn't, he didn't take me up on that. Sometimes he would, but he was like, I don't like people that send pictures like that. I find it gross. And I'm like, okay, you're watching videos of people that profit off of doing that same thing so yeah she's giving me a look but no, <laughs> here's the deal i mean if he needs that to get aroused then i love this what, how, where is that going you know right. i mean because is that then... what you want no no well, i don't want to constantly be worried. why does he have to resort to that he yeah. doesn't have to. Right. You didn't have he to. He shouldn't have to. Yeah. That is on him. <laughs> My mom said your dog has terrible gas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, Mom. All right. We're done. That's it. The review's ending. I'm cutting it off. We're done. No more porn talk.